Hello and welcome to Aurelian University. In this video, we're going to talk about numbers in Python. So in an earlier video, we talked about different data types um, and how they behave differently. So numbers in Python behave in a specific way, and you're going to need want to know a couple things about them in order to be able to use them in Python. So numbers come in two types. There are integers, which are just whole numbers, and floats. So an integer right here doesn't have a decimal after it. A float, even though this is a whole number, has a decimal. And so Python keeps track of this differently because we have to keep track of whatever goes here. Um, we can also do math with numbers using different operators. So this is the multiplication operator. We could use a plus here, we could use a minus here, we could use this, and that's a divis uh, division operator. Uh, we're actually going to use the multiplication operator here though. In a different video, we're going to talk a little bit more about all the different operators we can use in Python. Uh, but for now, we'll just talk about this one here. We'll just use this as an example. Uh, another thing about numbers in Python is that numbers in Python don't have limits. Um, in a lot of other computer programming languages, you can only make a number so big. Usually the upper limit is pretty high, uh, but there is an upper limit. In Python, we don't have an upper limit. So if we have a number here, we have another number, which is number one to the power of number of the same number. So 100 to, or sorry, 1,000 to the 1,000th power. It's going to be a pretty big number. Most computer programs won't actually be able to uh, do math that high, but Python can, which is a cool reason to use Python, especially if you're wanting to do statistics or any sort of other uh, computation where you could be using very high or actually very low numbers. So we're going to run this program just to show you. Also notice that I've already gone to my uh, folder where the tutorial scripts are held. If you need a refresher on how to get to tutorials, you can go ahead and look back at the video where we talk about running your first Python, uh, sorry, your first Python program. Um, we're going to enter the Python 3 command and write numbers.py, the name of the file. And you see right here we have this very large number. That is 1,000 to the 1,000th power. So 1,000 times 1,000, 1,000 times, essentially. Um, it's, it's very large. Uh, and then we have 16. Another thing to notice here is that uh, even though 4 times 4 is 16, there was really no need for this point zero. This outputs the point zero because what we've done is we've had, we started with a, an integer, we multiplied it by a float or a number with a decimal point. And so that automatically converts the number to a float. So the output will be a float. Um, automatic conversion between types of data happen between integers and floats because they're very closely related. They're both numbers in Python. However, they won't happen between, for example, strings and numbers or other data types really. And this is a difference between Python and some languages like JavaScript, for example, which will automatically sometimes convert uh, numbers to strings. So just keep that in mind. If you're familiar with any of those other languages, Python uh, will convert floats and integers, uh, unlike some, a language like C++, but it won't um, do a implicit conversions for all sorts of data. 